Hello, Tom. Thanks for answering some of these comments from YouTube today. Occasionally, I do notice some of the comments on some of the videos that we have. And in this case, Leo asks, I love Tom's theories. They explain so much. But one thing I can't wrap my head around is his idea that the speed of light is constrained because photons cannot move faster than one Planck unit at a time. This seems to contradict Tom's idea that, if I understand correctly, the photon is virtual. It doesn't actually travel from point to point. The time it takes to travel is computed by the rule set, which is where the constraint is baked in. So it seems like circular reasoning to say that it's constrained by physics. If the rule set wanted to, it could say that a photon had moved two Planck lengths, or any number, in a single Planck time unit. It's just data. What am I missing? Okay, be glad to explain that. It's not the rule set that is the constraint on the speed of light. It's the actual structure of the virtual reality. It's how virtual realities are made. It's not the rule set at all. Yes, the rule set could have it jump, you know, 10 Planck lengths for every delta T or 100 or 1,000. But what would happen then is you would have a, you know, given a virtual reality, uh, you have a certain level of uh, resolution to that virtual reality, right? Virtual realities come in pixels. They're computed by computers. So the delta X and the delta T represent the pixels. Now, I'm just generalizing the word pixel. It's a, it's the... Uh, you know, the, the digital, uh, the smallest digital time and the smallest digital distance. Um, so if let's say the, the computer wanted to make it 10 delta X's for every delta T, well, what you would have is a photon that's here at this delta X disappears and 10 delta X is over, it reappears. Well, that's a teleporting photon. Or a thousand, it could disappear here and reappear a thousand pixels over. But that's not the way we want motion to be in our virtual reality. It's not, it's not a good, a good thing to have your particles teleporting around from one place to another. So what constrains the speed of light is that that's as fast as you can move through pixels contiguously from one pixel to the next pixel, to the next pixel, to the next pixel, not teleporting around so that, so that the motion looks continuous. It isn't really continuous because you're jumping from this pixel to the next pixel, but it looks as continuous as it can get. So that is why the speed of light is constrained. It's the nature of virtual reality to be pixelated. And it's the nature of virtual reality to appear continuous to us. Okay, a good virtual reality isn't one in which things jump around. Oh, there's a tree growing over here. Now the tree's over here. Now the tree just moved to, you know, a thousand miles away and is growing over there. If things teleport around, it's not a very a good virtual reality in which to grow up in and make choices in. It's a real squirrely kind of place where things disappear and reappear. So the, the general idea of a virtual reality is to make it seem continuous as possible. So that's why we didn't like the first generation of video games, because it was obvious that the motion wasn't smooth. It wasn't realistic. It was jerky, jumping from pixel to pixel. And we kept working on getting that better with faster computers and smaller resolution, smaller pixels. And now the video games look smooth. They look just as real. You know, the motion looks just the way motion looks to us. And we look at that and say, oh, well, that's, that's good. So the virtual realities try to approximate a continuous reality and to maintain something that looks continuous you need small pixels from the viewpoint of the observer they have to be so small 
that the fact that it's pixelated disappears in the details. So that's why it's not that the rule set limits the speed of light. It's that the structural nature of a virtual reality being pixelated and the concept that the virtual reality is 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 made to appear smooth to us you know that's what it's trying to simulate it's trying to simulate a smooth continuous reality and in order to do that then it has to move things no more than one pixel at a time you can't get any faster than that now you can take 10 pixels of time to move one delta x that's okay now you're just moving more slowly okay 10 pixels of time it just moves over one delta x so it just makes the thing go slower and slower but the upper speed limit is you can't move more than one pixel per time otherwise you're teleporting through space and that does not make a, a good virtual reality for us to play in does the comment about the photon being virtual have have any kind of uh, no no what he's saying there is that everything's there. virtual not only yeah. photons are virtual, but I'm virtual too. You know, your avatar is virtual. The grass is virtual. Uh, all the particles are virtual. Everything's virtual. That's true. And what he's thinking is that if it's virtual, then you can do it. You know, the computer can do anything it wants with it. Well, theoretically, yes, the computer can do whatever it wants with it. But the computer's trying to make a virtual reality that looks smooth and real and continuous for the players. It, it doesn't want to make things that where particles teleport from one position to another and skipping spaces in between. Okay, so that's that's the point. He's he's thinking that it's just the it's up to the computer to do whatever it wants. So why limit the speed of light? Well, that's why. It's the structural nature of a virtual reality, and the name of the game in virtual reality is to make it appear as though it's not a virtual reality. You know, you want virtual realities to be such that they don't look like they're virtual. They look like they're real and continuous. And in our minds, real means continuous. Those have to go together. Even though we know it actually isn't continuous, it has these tiny little pixels, but they're so small that we don't notice the pixelation. Just like our, our new our new video games we don't notice pixelation anymore it's that's kind of a thing of the past the bad old days when computers were slow and communication lines were slow and now that everything's fast the games have become better more believable more real looking and we need to keep it that way it, it's supposed to be approximating continuous motion Thank you for that very clear and detailed answer to the question. I and MBT Events hope you liked this video. We will continue to post videos for free on my YouTube channel, but please understand, these videos are expensive to produce. They represent many thousands of hours of production and editing, as well as all the necessary audiovisual equipment, computers, and software. If you find something of significant value in our videos, please consider supporting their production through our Patreon account or through a one-time donation. It would be very much appreciated. The links are in the description below. Thank you.